welcome to the SARS Tax Practitioner Readiness Program, the introduction. So you might be thinking to yourself, what is this readiness program all about? And why should we be doing it? Or rather, why should you be doing it? Well, the purpose of the readiness program is to assist newly registered tax practitioners like yourselves in obtaining an adequate understanding of your roles, your responsibilities, as well as your obligations. And these responsibilities and obligations arise because you are registered as a tax practitioner and not because you are a taxpayer. So it's important that you need to understand your role, your responsibilities and your obligations. However, the program was also designed to assist you in obtaining an adequate understanding of the service channels, the processes and systems to enable you to provide a service to your clients in a professional and ethical manner. But let's spend some time now and consider some of the history of the organization that you will be engaging through in order to assist your clients. And that is SARS. What is our mandate as SARS? Well, our mandate was established in terms of the SARS Act of 1997, and the Act stipulates our mandate as follows. To collect all revenue due, to ensure optimal compliance with tax and customs legislation, and to provide a customs and excise service to optimize revenue, border protection, and facilitate legitimate trade. So from this mandate, you will notice that it is our, our function is the to collect revenue, to ensure compliance, and to provide a service. But what legislation governs us? Well, what is the legislation that we act upon? Well, the primary legislation that SARS administers is the Income Tax Act as amended in 19, of 1962, the Customs and Excise Act as amended of 1964, the Value Added Tax Act as amended of 1991, the Tax Administration Act as amended of 2011, and then the Employment Tax Incentives Act as amended of 2013. So these are the five primary acts that SARS administers while correct collecting revenue and while ensuring that tax compliance is met. Our primary focus, however, will be on the Tax Administration Act of 2011 and more specifically, Chapter 18 of that act. But what is our vision? our higher purpose and strategic intent of SARS. While the SARS higher purpose is to enable government to build a capable state, to foster sustainable economic growth and social development that serves the well-being of all South Africans. What is our strategic intent? Well, in order to give effect to our mandate, our strategic intent is to develop and administer a tax and custom system of voluntary compliance and where appropriate, enforce responsibly and decisively. And we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at what do we look, what do we mean by voluntary compliance. But let's first discuss what our vision is. Well, our vision is to build a smart, modern SARS, but with unquestionable integrity, and that is trusted and admired. You know, these words trusted, admired, voluntary compliance, you will hear it often throughout the program. So it's, it's really close to our heart as an organization. However, let us just have a look at what is meant by voluntary compliance. 
And you would have noticed that it's been a change um, from previous years where we mainly spoke about compliance. I'd like to read to you what the SARS compliance theory and philosophy is. And it refers to compliance as follows. It says it refers to the degree to which taxpayers and traders fulfill the tax obligations. And those tax obligations are in the form of registration, filing, declaration, and payment. But then it goes on to say it says accurately and on time as required by law. Then it goes further. It says voluntary compliance refers to society fulfilling the obligations, and here's the point, without being prompted by SARS to do so. So that is what we mean by voluntary compliance. And then it continues, SARS believes that most taxpayers and traders are honest and will therefore strive to promote a culture where compliance is viewed as a positive social contribution. Voluntary compliance will be achieved when everyone is aware of the tax obligations. It is, it is reasonably easy and less costly to meet these obligations. And when there is a credible threat of detection and consequences for those who do not comply with the obligations. So in a nutshell, voluntary compliance means taxpayers that are compliant without being prompted by SARS. Yes, your clients are compliant because they want to be. However, as SARS, we are governed by strategic objectives, and there are nine of these strategic objectives. The first three is what we will be discussing later on in the program, and those are to make it easy and simple to comply, create awareness, clarity, and certainty, to make it hard to not comply. And then the others are more internal, internally focused. Within SARS, we have a unit called Government and Tax Practitioner Segment. And as a segment, our aspiration is to have a professional and an ethical tax practitioner community that represents taxpayers, that drives a culture of, the other word is again, voluntary compliance, and who is trusted by SARS. Once more, those words, trusted and voluntary compliance. Yes, we would want to trust you. We do not want to distrust you, but I guess it's, it's mutual, is it not so? you would also like to trust SARS. And hopefully this program will start building that trust relationship between SARS and you registered tax practitioners. When we look at our three strategic objectives that we mentioned early on, the program delivers on some of these strategic objectives. For example, strategic objective one, speaks about create awareness, clarity, and certainty. So how does this program um, deliver on that? Well, as a segment or as, a, as an organization, we would want to develop educational programs to assist segment role players to understand the obligations, whether it be legislative, policy, or even your rights. With regard to this program itself, well, it's designed to assist newly registered tax practitioners in understanding their rights and the obligations as laid out in the Tax Administration Act. What about making it easy and simple to comply? Well, here yeah, we want segment players, um, we want to understand segment players' needs and how they experience the SARS service process and systems but with the intention so that we can provide a better service based on your requirements and on your needs. How does this program assist? Well, it once more assists newly registered tax practitioners like yourselves in understanding the SARS systems and processes. 
What about strategic objective three to make it hard and costly to not comply? Well, we would like to develop compliance plans that will make it hard for non-compliant practitioners. How does this program help? Well, this program assists newly registered tax practitioners to understand the implications of non-compliance for yourselves as well as for the clients that you represent. Let us briefly look at what it's the content is that we will that we will consider during the SARS Tax Practitioner Readiness Program. We have broken the program down into various themes, and the first theme will really look at the requirements that tax practitioners need to meet. Module one will focus on the legislation, specifically looking at Chapter 18 of the Tax Administration Act. While module two will focus on the criteria for the recognition of a recognized controlling body. The second theme will be being ready to serve taxpayers. Yes, module number three will look at how to register as a tax practitioner. Module four will look at getting SARS ready, that will be yourself. Module six will be looking at how to use e-filing. And then module seven would look at the use of e-filing and easy file by employers. The third theme will be looking at our service channels. And there module five will look at the different channels of engagement with SARS and basically make you aware of how to get the best out of it. The fourth theme will be looking at certain SARS processes. Now we are we're going to be focusing on um, the process with regard to debt management, with regard to dispute resolution, and then also complaints and escalations. And then module eight will round off by looking at the office of the tax ombud. And there we will focus specifically on the different processes. So ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you will find benefit from considering the SARS readiness, tax practitioner readiness program. We look forward to your comments, your thoughts on the program itself, and we're really looking forward to engaging you further on how we can improve this program. Maybe not for yourselves, but for those that will be following you so that they too can get the maximum benefit out of this program. We will now shift our focus to consider module one of the SARS Tax Practitioner Readiness Program. <laughs> 